And now, let me present to you yet another team lead. He is already well known to some of you. His name is Sandeep Goel. He will tell us about an exciting project that we are doing together with Dr. Anthony Atala. This is Cryo Life Bank. So let us listen to what Sandeep has to tell us. Hello, everyone. Welcome and greetings from Sandeep Goel from Winston-Salem in the US. I speak on behalf of CryoLife Bank, a path-breaking stem cell bank in partnership with Dr. Anthony Atala of the Wake Forest Institute for Regenerative Medicine. The stem cell bank will incorporate a patented technology developed by Dr. Atala. What is remarkable is that this unique technology is being made available exclusively to crypto for the first time in the world. The bank will also include other services as semen and egg preservation as well as genetic testing. The project will open up impressive market niches. The CryoLife Bank would be an important component of the crypto's age hack application and we have already started working on it in developing its technology, training and setup. This project, like others, will add considerable value to the CPT token and help turn it into a stable payment instrument, enjoying great demand and immunity to market volatility. With all other wonderful projects included in the crypto ecosystem, I'm sure that the CPT token will have a wonderful and bright future. Best wishes and thank you. Bye. Cryo Life Bank uses the unique methodology of Dr. Anthony Atala. I want to speak about this project, because these technologies are extremely important for the life of the future generations. This discovery will allow people of the very near future not to depend on donor organs anymore. It will allow us to use our own stem cells to replace partially or completely our damaged organs and tissues. And for the first time in the world, Anthony Atala's method allows not only to store a certain placenta segment, but also to control stem cells, so they become exactly the cells that we need. For example, epithelial cells, cornea cells or ear cartilage cells, or liver, kidney cells, myocardial cells, that is, heart's muscle tissue, or pericardium cells. This discovery is unprecedented in its significance and scale. Dr. Atala used not only what we know about the placenta, but also the knowledge about the amniotic fluid. And this is what really opened up the way towards the use of these stem cells in surgery to restore human organs. So, what do we store in this wonderful cryo-life bank using Dr. Anthony Atala's methods? In this bank, we can store cord blood. As such, this is not so new. Cord blood is stored in many banks around the world. Also, in this bank, we will be able to store placental cells, male and female gametes, which would allow us to help families have healthy babies. What is really innovative here is that Dr. Anthony Atala 
has patented a new method for extracting stem cells from the amniotic fluid. This method is absolutely unique. It allows us not only to have some tissue fragments, it allows us to grow the stem cells that we need. And we can do it with the help of a patient's own cells, stored in the bank since that patient's birth. This method was developed at Harvard and patented by Dr. Anthony Atala. My friend Dmitry Boriak, we met at the recent Knowledge Summit in Dubai where we discussed the Science Park and this project in detail. This is another step in our long relationship. Having discussed the project, I am excited about it and how it will help people and their lifetimes. I confirm my support for the project at multiple levels, including construction of a stem cell bank in the first phase and generally as a mentor. The project will also benefit from the stem cell technologies which are being licensed for the very first time to the Ukraine under this program. I wish the project all success and congratulate all participants and others who will gain from it. With my best regards. The slides I wanted to show you next are also about a totally new project. A project that will function as a decentralized application on our blockchain. It is called Equinium. So let us listen to the founders of this decentralized application. They will tell you what is so new about this project and why blockchain is needed here. So, the founders of our Equinium app. Hello, my name is Mareike Fess and I'm the CEO and founder from Equinium Foundation. Horses are prestigious assets, especially for wealthy families. They are also precious fellows who improve our lives. My family is active and deeply involved in the world of horses for more than three generations. I started riding in the age of four. Dressage competitions two years later and jumping competitions in the age of 10. My entire life is dedicated to horses. Trading, breathing, running and organizing stables and riding in three disciplines. Since a few years I also made my training license and I train children for competitions. During that time I faced and figured out a lot of issues with fraud and false information. Numerous middlemen increase prices and manipulate the markets for disadvantage of the breeders, trainers and end buyers. Hello, my name is Andreas Gartz. I'm the CTO and also a founder of the Queenian Foundation. All of these issues are still existing because all the data and information about horses is very fragmented and only offline accessible. Therefore, we founded Equinium to create a new industry standard and to unite the equine community. We will build a one-stop knowledge and marketplace based on blockchain technology with our own trusted currency. We will provide uh, access to relevant information, horse information, for buyers and also uh, provide direct access to the market for breeders and trainers. After we have learned about Crypto and its vision to eliminate the middleman, we are very, very glad to see that the same issues have been identified that affect our lives in general. Today, we at Equinium are very proud to announce our cooperation with Crypto and we are looking forward to a successful future. So, Equinium is a new decentralized app that will use our blockchain. This app is focused on the issues 
related to horse breeding. What problems exist in this industry? Middlemen with immense markups, frequent fraud and lack of transparency. Electronic chips and passports of horses are being faked and animals are then being sold at incredible prices. A middleman purchases a horse for five to ten thousand dollars and then resells it for up to nine hundred thousand dollars with all those tricks. This whole industry is so much exploited by the middlemen that our innovations are very much needed and wanted. It will be very much welcome by those wealthy people who are interested in horses and want to enjoy their hobby safely and predictably. To understand this problem, we hired experts who helped us to appreciate the importance of changes in the technology of issuing horse passports. We pay attention to the horse breeding market because it's a lucrative market. With $300 billion of annual turnover and about 100 million of wealthy customers worldwide. If at least 1% of those customers find out about our offer and use it, we will receive an incredible impetus for our further development. This breakthrough will increase demand for our token, and once it happens, the number of people willing to buy CPTs will exceed the number of those who want to sell them. This means that our token's value will grow. Therefore, I believe that this project is very promising, and we plan its ICO in the near future. And now let me present to you another great friend of ours, head of our first representative office that we are opening in Vietnam. His name is Quang Nguyen Tang. Good afternoon, dear crypto investors. You made a wise and important decision to join today's webinar. My name is Quang Nguyen Tang. I live in Vietnam, in Ho Chi Minh City. Like many of you, I was lucky enough to learn about crypto project at the right moment. I invested in CPT at the ICO stage with an absolute faith in the crypto project and its founder, and I'm sure that we have invested our money in the right way. Participation in crypto makes me feel as if I were returning a debt of gratitude to my parents, as if I am a farmer who cultivates rice to feed thousands of people, as if I dug a large and deep well to give water to my compatriots. Today I understand that I have fulfilled my dream of devoting myself to a good cause, to learn and work directly with Dmitry Buryak, whom I highly respect. Every day blockchain technologies change the world around us, change our lives. Crypto was born to combine the most advanced technology with the most advanced people. Crypto is getting bigger every day, because Dmitry is doing a lot for the growth of CPT and for the development of the whole crypto ecosystem, also here in Vietnam. In the near future, we will see consumers buying CPTs to pay their bills in restaurants, make online purchases, pay for their children's education and much more. We will see how companies accept CPTs as a convenient means of payment and will also reward their regular customers with CPTs. 
Stock traders will love CPDs, also here in Vietnam, exchanging CPDs directly for Vietnamese dongs. Investment funds will buy CPTs as a profitable investment instrument. Therefore, as CPT holders, we can be proud that we have already joined a unique community that will build its own new global economy, and this miracle will become reality. It will happen once we connect through crypto, the business community with the consumer community. This miracle can happen as early as in December this year, and then the CPT price may reach one cent. And I think a year later our token can grow to one dollar. Moreover, I consider it possible that in December 2021, assuming a certain volume of exchange trading and market capitalization is reached, the price of our token could be as high as $10 per one CPT. Therefore, I'd like to sincerely congratulate you on this great choice we've made together and wish you all the best. So, my friends, we listen to a man who believes that blockchain will change the world for the better. This is an accomplished businessman who has many businesses of his own. And the most important thing for us is that we pass the keys to our representative office to the person who is the head of the Association of Blockchain Experts in Vietnam. Thank you.